Here is a bag of red potatoes I bought at Safeway. My goal is to plant some of these potatoes and turn them into many more potatoes. I'm also going to use a new type of container. This is a grow bag. It's a bag that you fill up with dirt and use just like a pot, except they cost a lot less money and the water drips out the sides of the bag so it doesn't get too wet and soggy inside. I'm taking soil from old pots that I have around the yard that don't have any plants in them right now. It's better to recycle the soil than let them sit in a pot that's not being used. I need to put at least two inches of soil at the bottom of the grow bag before I plant the potatoes so that there's some space at the bottom for the roots of the potato plant to grow. Now there's enough soil at the bottom of the bag to plant the potatoes. Notice there's these little eyes on the potato. That's what they're called, eyes. Those will grow upward and become the stems of the potato plant. I'm going to place the potatoes inside the soil with the eyes pointed upward as much as I can so that they'll have a straight route directly to the sun. Two potatoes is about the most I want to grow in a grow bag that's five gallons. If I put more potatoes in here, they would get very crowded and it would probably not grow very well. So those two potatoes are now in the soil and I'm just going to keep filling up this grow bag with the different pots I have around the yard that are full of soil all the way to the very top. And so there's about six inches of soil above the potatoes. Now that the potatoes are planted in the soil, it's time to add water. The soil needs to be moist in order for the potatoes to sprout. And this is a five gallon grow bag, so I need to give it a lot of water to soak the soil all the way down to the bottom. Notice that the water is seeping out the sides, and that's a good thing because the water can escape and just stay moist inside, not soaking wet. Now all I have to do is put the potatoes in the sun and there it goes. I want to make sure to label these potatoes because I will have many other grow bags out here growing. And so now I know these are my red potatoes. I'll make sure to water the potatoes regularly and give it plant food a couple of times. The big question is how many potatoes will grow from the two potato spuds that I planted in this grow bag?